Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the docks located on Water Street near the lake in Mayville. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Join us live Saturday mornings between 9 and 10 a.m. in Fredonia, Mayville, and Silver Creek. Call in and share a thought or wish someone a happy birthday with Chautauqua County's only live on-air senior program. Reed continues in his 15th year with interesting guests expressing their viewpoints and informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. And good morning. What a beautiful, beautiful day we have in Chautauqua. The county, the sun is beaming down. No rain, no snow. It's coming, <laughs> but it's beautiful anyway, and everything is so gorgeous with the pristine white all around and the dark trees. It's just a lovely sight when you travel through the hills, and uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, get out there and ski, snow, uh, ski, snow slide, <laughs> rubber tube slide, uh, skate, and have a great time on your, uh, on your sleds. They go up and down the streets now, the sleds, because there's so much snow <laughs> and ice. Love it. I love it. Okay, we're going to have a special guest today. Uh, his name is Mort Flexer, and he, was, he is the geezer. And Mort has decided to retire, and he's going to talk a little bit about some of the background and what brought him here and what's going on in Chautauqua County in terms of his life. We, uh, it should be a very fascinating show, and anybody who wants to call in, you may congratulate Mark for 15 years of service as a geezer. He is now 86 years old, and I'll tell you something, uh, he's still doing the job. I uh, look at the TV, and all I see is that craziness going on, the protesters against Mubarak in uh, Egypt. I think eventually he's going to pack his ba bag and get out of there pretty fast. They almost killed the vice president uh, yesterday. <laughs> it's getting wild. Um, and of course, see, uh, Mubarak has all his gangs and thugs and cops uh, who all uh, owe him running around uh, beating up, even killing the protesters, uh, roughing them up, driving vans through them if you see the TV. And our worst thing is they've basically scared the death out of the press. They're beating up the press. They killed one of them already. They are uh, taking them off for safe, uh, safety. They're putting them in jail. They're doing everything possible to suppress the press, including smashing their... Uh, their cameras, which is uh, outrageous. Protests all over the world. And of course, this is spreading throughout the Middle East. Uh, Yemen, uh, the, several other countries have shown unrest at this point. And it looks like there's going to be uh, sort of a general upheaval in the area against these dictators that are just killing the people. Uh, like the unemployment rate is, is, is half in uh, Egypt. And the daily, uh, I mean, the weekly uh, incomes are like two or three dollars. They're just starving these people to death. And taking all the money, of course. That's the game plan as a dictator. And of course, they suppress any opposition right up until now by killing or beating or putting in jail anybody who runs against them, who is an opponent, who says anything against the press. It's, it's incredible. They burned down Al Jazeera, which is an Arab uh, uh, studio yesterday, uh, press again. It's, it's madness. And uh, I don't know what's quite going to happen over this. Uh, I'm just watching with bated breath to see what's going to come about. Uh, they're trying everything possible to suppress the protests by these gangs that they send around to, to hurt and kill and maim and shoot and oh, it's insane. Um, even next door in Egypt, uh, not e well they incidentally they, they hit a gas, big gas line that's burning furiously out of control and uh, 
next door there's all kinds of unheaval, unrest. Uh, even Israel's a little worried about what's going to happen, who's going to take over, and what their attitude will be toward uh, uh, Israel. At least Israel, e Egypt was neutral to Israel. Uh, who knows what's going to happen? It's just madness and madness, more madness. Uh, they're blowing up uh, in Iraq, they're blowing people up again. It's, ma it's bombings and bombings and shootings and uh, suppose everything's calm and they're in full control. They're demanding that the, uh, the people are now demanding that the president, uh, who happens to be, had been handpicked by us, get out. So even uh, Iraq is in a state of turmoil. And of course, we know Afghanistan is wild. It's just a wild country. There's no control. No, no, we, we're, we're just sending more and more troops over there. And uh, they're, they're winding up in bad shape, dead in boxes, coming home, a lot of them now. And uh, many more, 10 times as many wounded, and some of them very mortally, seriously wounded. Uh, let's try to stop this stuff that's going on. If we brought all our people home and stopped burning all that oil out there, I think our, our oil would be self-dependent on oil. <laughs> you know how much oil the military must use. Don't, don't even ask. Uh, fortunately, the aircraft carriers, which used to be the biggest uh, users of it, are nuclear powered now, most of them. So at any rate, life goes on in the Middle East, utter madness, and here we are right in the middle of it in Afghanistan and Iraq. Enough said about that nonsense. It just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, I wanted to mention the fact that I, you know, I have a secret weapon over in Westfield. You know, you have your own private butcher or meat cutters is the correct term over in Tops in Westfield. I'm sure the other Tops is too. And I'll go in and say, would you mind uh, grinding me some pork? Sure. Would you mind uh, boning out this lamb? Sure. Would you mind giving me, cutting me some one and a quarter inch steaks? No problem. And Gary is his name, and Gary does a wonderful job. If you live in Westfield or the general area, if you want your meat really customized and taken care of you, contact Gary. He's the manager of the meat department there at Tops. What a deal. And this is not an ad or anything. It's just a little tip for those people who haven't had a private butcher for years. Ice castles coming? Whoa, boy. The uh, 18th, 19th, and 20th, we're going to have a big big celebration in Mayville Park for the whole county. And you know how it is. You've seen it before. They have that gorgeous, gorgeous ice castle that's been hand-built and it's cut out of the lake. And it's a big, beautiful edifice. They have interior lighting at night, so it's just gorgeous. The lighting's are going to come on during the celebration. And uh, they, have the polar, <laughs> they have the polar bears who, for charity, uh, they, go, they jump into the water. I'm going to put the cheaters on so I can see my notes here and uh, do a very brief swim. <laughs> uh, one of the polar bears in the past uh, is Rick over at the, uh, uh, at the uh, uh, beautiful restaurant right down across from the Ice Castle, the uh, beautiful restaurant. Two of them, actually. They have two of them. They have where the Giambros used to be, too, in the Lakeview, which is the big one. Uh, there's going to be fireworks over there, food, games, and fooling around. <laughs> Don't miss it. Drop around. All right, I have a couple of notes here from some of the senior clubs here. I just want to, we're going to keep them short because we have a lot to do. Uh, the uh, Dunkirk Federated Seniors, who have a beautiful senior center, uh, meet regularly, and uh, they, uh, they have a, a wonderful program there, all kinds of great things, uh, card games, dancing, instructions, macrame, everything. And so if you're not a member of your Dunkirk Federated Seniors, join them. And they take people from nearby. You don't have to necessarily be Dunkirkites. And uh, they welcome everybody with an open arm. So if you, haven't go, if you live too far, go to your own senior center. Every single town and village has a senior center. And it's a, just a whole second wonderful enveloping family. It's a wonderful, wonderful support group. They're having a free lunch February 8th, incidentally, at the Dunkirk Federated Seniors, so drop around there. You can get in touch with anybody there. The Helen Barone does the job now, is vice president right now, and you, everybody knows Helen Barone. Call her, say, hey, I'd like to drop around. You're welcome. Lakeshore Seniors, uh, they also meet at the Dunkirk Senior uh, Center, and uh, President Charlene Hallmark uh, says, we are looking for wonderful new members, drop around. Uh, Treasurer's report was given by Urbanic, Sophia, and she says, we've got dough, we're set, we're doing the job. They gave a token di gift, incidentally, uh, to their secretary for 10 years of hard work. Katie Smith is executive director for the YWCA, that's where Westfield meets, under Shirley Copine and company, and they just have a terrific group there. 
uh, the, the Y has served young women and, and older women and girls for many, many, many decades. As a matter of fact, they established it back in the 1800s, 1894. Can you imagine the YWCA? There used to be a YMCA in Westfield, but it disappeared. And it's, uh, that's where every, every boy in Westfield grew up, I might add, learned to play dodgeball, among other things, and basketball, and, and a good game of pool and ping pong, and learned how to fight. <laughs> That's where the key bank is now. That's, that used to be the Y, the MCA. <clears throat> Mayville has a whole bunch of wonderful people. And uh, I just wanted to say, uh, uh, if you're interested in joining them, Joyce Ayers, and they meet at the VFW, uh, uh, which is down, down along the, the waterfront. You know, it's, uh, they have a beautiful gazebo there. They have, a, I mean, a place for, for picnics, outdoor grill. They have a huge kitchen. And oh boy, are they wonderful to the seniors. Let's hear it for the VFW. President Joyce Ayers, again, if you want to get in touch, drop around. Paul O'Dell, new welcome. Hello, Paul. He's a, a previous judge in Westfield, and what a job he did. He was, was reelected unanimously every year because he did a wonderful job every two years. Uh, Silver Creek, they meet regularly. Uh, they have Ed Newman is the president there. If you want to get involved, they have a, their own clubhouse, the corner of 20 and 5, easy to find, drop around. Uh, they got a lot of trips set up like most senior groups. Railroad Museum in Henrietta coming up in April. And they're going to the uh, Erie Playhouse. Many people go there, uh, many senior groups go there, as well as to the casinos. There's always a casino in there. <laughs> All right, enough said. They're telling me uh, this has got to be short. I have no more time for news. So I will uh, condense the news at this point, and I will disappear with the news. Uh, I do have a public service announcement for you, and this is just for you. Here you go. I think. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was a quickie. <coughs> Run in the PSA room. Yeah, this is, oh, oh, you can go one behind me. The smallest eight, moments can nine, have the biggest eight, impact on a child's eight, life. Go dad, go dad, Take one, time to be a dad one, today. One, one. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we think mom is most important, but you know, dad has a very strong influence, especially if there are boys in the family. So be a dad. Take the kids fishing, all of them, not just the boys, the girls too. Play a little ball with them, coach. Get out there with your kids. They're most important, and as you grow older, you'll find out that the, the sign on the door and the bigelow on the floor doesn't mean diddly. It's the children. That's everything in your life. Got a new guy here. Okay, Senator Young has just called in. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Reed. How are you? Well, I thank you for calling in. I'm so glad to speak with you. How, how's everything going? Everything's going fine. Mill, um, Mort, of course, is retiring, and uh, he's sitting right next to me, and we have a little party set up. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to compliment you on being the, the, on the uh, new financial committee of the state, uh, uh, state Senate. That is a very important post. It really is, and it's really good for our region, so I was very excited to get that. And um, also with the Rural Resources Commission, that means a lot to us, too, because it's all about upstate. Well, you've done a wonderful job for us upstate here, and all, I just can't uh, uh, compliment you any further because you, everybody knows, and it's just fantastic. It reminds me of Dan Reed, who, the, who was the first and last congressman, I'm sure, uh, who, ahead of the uh, Ways and Means Committee, which is very important, just like your committee. And, uh, of course, he got, a, uh, he got an earmark. <laughs> that is a beautiful harbor in Westfield, New York. <laughs> <laughs> So that's great, and I'm so happy that uh, Mort is having a party today. I think that's really wonderful that people um, think so much of him as I do. Yeah, well, we have a packed crowd here, and everybody is just uh, overwhelmed. It'll be, he, he's worked 15 years. He's now 86, and it's time he decided he can sleep in Saturday. He tells me that's what he wants to do. 